Alright guys, today we're going to be going over the top 5 NFT projects in May of 2022. So you guys really seem to like the last NFT video, so I'm making another one. And basically, this one's going to be pretty in-depth. A lot of research went into this, so, you know, watch it to the end to get the maximum result, obviously. And I'm just going to jump straight into it without wasting any more time, starting off with the number 5 best NFT project in May of 2022. And just a disclaimer, this is not financial advice, obviously. I'm not telling you guys to buy any of these NFTs. And also, this is more of like a blue chip NFT guide. Like, if you guys don't know what blue chip is, it's basically like the top NFTs that are less risky. And blue chip actually applies more to stocks such as Apple and Google. But I'm using it in this sense because these are basically the less risky NFTs. If you guys want me to make a video on the top 5 up and coming NFT projects in May of 2022, I can do that as well. But for now we're doing the safer option. So the first NFT project we're going to be talking about today is Chess on Crack. Basically Chess on Crack is a regular NFT project which has obviously gone up tremendously since it's mint. but. The main defining characteristic of this project is that with the tokens that are achieved from staking these chess on cracks, which are at about 90% staking so far, with those tokens you can enter raffles. And these raffles aren't random, but they're voted on by the community members. So this provides like a very community based feel to this project. And people overall really like that with NFTs because they feel like they're a part of something bigger and they're not just buying in to make the owner of the project rich. So definitely a good project, pretty stable as well. It doesn't really get affected too badly by dips, ebbs and floats. So definitely a good project for some of you guys who have more Solana to spend, a pretty safe bet. Alright, so the next one on the list is Best Buds, which is pretty much the first NFT project that I personally saw on Magic Eden, which is the platform that you use to buy all of these NFT projects. So definitely check that out if you guys want to learn more about the, about the NFT world and the whole space. But Best Buds is extremely cool because not only does it have a very nice artwork, it is limited as well. But the best thing about Best Buds is that they keep creating new projects affiliated with the original Best Bud project. So uh, Mary Janes were basically the wife equivalent of Best Buds and now they plan to make babies of Best Buds. I don't know exactly what they're going to be called. But basically each time they branch off of Best Buds into a new project essentially a, another whole project is built with a new chance for new users of Magic Eden to jump into the plat to the Best Buds platform without that price of Best Buds. And while the price has kind of tanked since its peak, I anticipate that we will see a resurgence in the Best Buds marketplace as always, but especially with this one, Focus on rarity because there is more best buds than some of these other projects. So the rarer uh, NFT, the better, obviously, because it'll be more coveted. It'll have those traits that people are looking for. So definitely look out for best buds and the affiliated Mary Janes and the babies that are set to come out soon. And let's move on to the next one. So now we're getting into my favorite NFT projects. These top three I would rank pretty much higher than four and five. Four and five were kind of like just projects that I've seen. These next three are actually ones 
that like I personally enjoy. So the first one is Soul Gods. Now Soul Gods is basically a project that has very very cool art and the thing with Soul Gods is that staking is coming out on May 12th. So if you guys don't know what staking is, I covered it in my last NFT video but I'll cover it again real quick. Basically you can um, put your NFT in a place where you generate tokens for the project and in turn for those tokens you're able to buy like an in-app purchase within the project think of it like V-Bucks or something like that but it doesn't cost actual money it costs virtual money so I guess it's more like buying a skin in Fortnite maybe I don't know why I'm referencing Fortnite, but that's like the best thing I can think of right now. Basically, you're generating income with the use of your NFT. So, pretty cool concept there. And Soul Guys is set to release staking on May 12th, which is in two days from the recording of this video. When you guys watch the video, it might already be out. And there's so many other cool things about Soul Guys. First of all, there's only 6,666 total art pieces in circulation which is pretty low but still high enough to where uh, like a lot of people can get into the project which is always good second of all there's a whole story behind Soul Gods which is pretty rare like there's actual lore behind it there's like a whole website called like The Fracture and there's this story of like how Aliens came down. I don't know the exact story, but you guys are free to look into it There's dozens of like news articles on soul gods and overall it's getting some pretty serious traction And now is a really good time to buy into it just because of the low price that it's at compared to what it's been at for the last month or two and Yeah, so let's move on to the next one definitely look out for soul gods I personally bought one myself, so I obviously have faith in the project and I think you should too. So the next project that I'm going to touch on today is one that I've already talked about in the last video, which is Smokeheads. Now I'm not going to go too in depth on Smokeheads, but just know that it's amazing art. My favorite art piece out of any NFT for sure that I've seen. I'm also biased because I made big money on it, but that's besides the point. There's 4,420 smokeheads in circulation, and they've already gone up tremendously. The main reason why they went up is because of the staking function, and obviously I've already talked about staking, but this smokehead staking app is just a beautiful interface. You can easily stake your level one smokeheads, receive W puff for your initial investment which is the currency of smokeheads and once you get enough W puff you can level up to level 2 which is not only generating more W puff in return for you investing more W puff it's also just worth more on the open market and on magic Eden even so overall a win 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 also on Thursday I believe level 3 of the smokeheads are coming out so basically you earn more and more just by owning these uh, smokeheads and the more you own the more you can level up and it's just a reoccurring cycle so it's an amazing amazing NFT and you can easily sell it for more money I even just bought one more smokehead for 17 soul yeah 17 soul last night and I'm expecting to sell it for around 25 to 30 so definitely a money maker like a real money maker so before we move on to number one I'm gonna first start talking about some honorable mentions that I have I believe I have one I think I just have one honorable mention and it's dope heads similarly to smokeheads and the naming but I really like the roadmap of the project it's very new that's why I'm 
I'm putting it as an honorable mention. Honestly, if this video was filmed two weeks down the line, I'm sure I'd put it near the top of the list because the art is amazing. And they plan to do a staking feature in which they give out pills for the owners of the project who stake their NFTs. And in exchange for these pills, you get to rehabilitate your dopamine addicted dope head self. So, kind of like self-improvement in that sense. So I definitely like the concept, I like the art. So look out for dope heads. If they go up, this will be my first big call that's completely on my own. So I'm really banking on this one. And of course, I have one dope head in my current wallet. So with that being said, let's move on to number one. So for the number one NFT project that we're gonna be talking about today, this should probably not surprise anyone who really knows anything about Magic Eden NFTs, but it's going to be OK Bears. My reasoning for this is limitless. The price has skyrocketed, first of all. And like I said, you don't necessarily want to buy NFTs that have already skyrocketed in value, but this is just a video on blue chip NFTs, like the most popular, well-known ones. So that's why I'm putting this as number one. The artwork is decent. In my opinion, it's not actually the best, but it's good enough to where the other characteristics of LK Bears make it the best, even with somewhat mediocre art. The volume has been the highest on all of Magic Eden for a long time now. The concept, the roadmap is incredible. All the developers are very like outgoing and they have a policy within their discord of no ranks within the member system. So no one is like above anyone else. Everyone's on the same level, which people really gravitate towards. They're planning to create merch and bracelets. And not only do these items look good on a person, you can also get into certain places just because you have this bracelet, which is very similar to the Board API Club, which is another project that came out way back when and absolutely took over OpenSea, which is one of the other, the other main NFT trading platform. The other thing that's really, really important to know about OK Bears is that they were the first project to be available on both Magic Eden and OpenSea, which was a long time coming and super, super crucial to the, to the success of the overall NFT market. So in my opinion, OK Bears is easily the best NFT project out right now, and I see it doing big things. So if you guys have the money to spend, I'd say definitely buy into this one. But, you know, it's the choice is up to you. Like I said, I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm just giving a suggestion. So, as I said at the beginning of this video, it did take a while to kind of research for. So, I would appreciate if you guys left a like on it. And with that being said, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon.